Before you get started in your high poly, it's very important to figure out, first of all, if your model is going to fit on the 2048 by 2048 texture at 512 pixels per meter. And a quick way to do that is by giving it a planar projection, setting the projection width and projection height to 4. And then unwrapping the top, and there's another planar projection. And then finally, you uh, choose an edge loop in the model and cut it using the the cut tool. And finally, you use the unfold tools to unfold it vertically. And what you'll see is that this model, even though it was on PowerShell 2, you know, um, it, it, it takes up more space than what we expected, right? And that's not a deal breaker because if you have your high poly and your high poly look good, there's always ways to make it uh, make it work. However, it's, it's easier and better if you plan things ahead. That way you don't run into any nasty surprises. So I always like to figure out my texture resolution at this stage. And here what I'm doing is I'm redoing the process except I plan on using only half of the model so that when I go scope my high poly, uh, once I bake it down to a low poly, I plan on mirroring over, welding things together and covering up the seams using vertex paint, right? And the important thing to know is that if you go to UV toolkit, down to tools, uh, transforms tools, that's where the textual resolution tools are. And so once you do it right, you know, every, all the squares should be fine. But if they're not, it's because you also have to unfold vertically and horizontally so that all the stuff, all the UVs get uh, unwrapped properly, right? You don't want to have any distortion, like weird UV overlapping or anything. So, you know, uh, the important thing here, though, is that you have to make sure that things look exactly the way you want. So this is already a fat total pixels per meter. But there's a lot of space left. And what that tells me is that maybe instead of just doing one corner, I can do one side. You know, so uh, ideally I would go and, and scope this to a high poly. And, you know, I'll just try it again. So I, I welded it all together. And now what I'll do is I'll set the planar projection to the z-axis again. Set it to 4. Unfold it horizontally and vertically. And now at 512 pixels per meter, this actually takes up more space. And I'll be happy knowing that because now I can go, I can go ahead and start sculpting. And I know that it's going to work for sure. Right. So there's nothing worse than taking a long time to make a sweet high poly and coming back and realizing that it doesn't fit on the texture. Of course, you can set down the texture density to be 256. But at that point, uh, that's not the texture density that we're aiming for. So we have to make sure that we understand how to keep everything at 512 pixels per meter. Right. And so so you know it's super simple you know you just apply the the uvs the way you like and then when you're done you can tr you use the texel density tool here in this case what i was trying to do is i realized that there was a lot of space left so i tried to make the texture smaller but then i forgot that if i make it smaller it's going to make it bigger right so you know this is what it's going to be right so there's a lot of space left and, you know, I guess the one thing that you should try to do is make sure that the UVs are pointing on the same direction. So meaning don't just try to fit the UVs in weird places. Make sure that they all are oriented the same way, right? So this is a smaller piece. And in this piece, I decided, okay, well, let me let me try it, right? But this time, instead of going through your menus and stuff, I, I'm using my own marking menu. And my own marking menu has presets. And these presets allow me to go do projection on the C, Y, on the X, Y, Z axis. 
as well as doing horizontal and vertical unfolds without having to go into any menus, which makes things a lot faster. Right. So now if I select both of them, I can try to be like, okay, I'm going to put these two in the same texture sheet. And that works. And there's still a little bit of space left. However, I realized that, well, these are two different kits, right? So I probably want to try to group these together with the kits that I intend to use them with. So in this case, this, this one. So this is probably a better candidate, right? So if I gave it a planar projection, but first of all, I realized I had some floating faces. So if I give it a planar projection and then I, I cut that edge loop and I unfold it horizontally, and I set it to 512 pixels per meter, it almost fit, but not quite, right? So then I'm pretty much gonna have to do the same thing. I'm gonna have to cut it in half because now I know that the other one fits, right? So once I do this, I know for that maybe I can bind these two together, right? And here's another benefit of doing everything on the grid because everything is nicely on the grid, like things should fit on this grid so if i have something that's two meters tall and i know that this other piece is three meters tall eventually i know that everything will kind of fit in there right so at the end of the day though it's just a lot of repetition you assign a, a planar projection on your c-axis you assign a, 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 a another planar projection to objects that are in a different plane right and in this case I'm going to try to make sure that things look a little better, but this might work the UV, so it might not be ideal, but I did it anyway just to show you. Okay. So this is what the UVs are like at 512 pixels per meter on a 2048, you know, and this way now I can proceed to do all the sculpting I want. And there's going to be some things we're going to have to do in the high poly to make sure that it in fact mirrors properly. But for now, that's what you do. So for pieces like this that are intended to use completely as trims, you'll see that this guy actually ended up taking up the entire sheet. See, and once I set the projection width and height to four, it just is already set to 512 pixels per meter and I don't have to worry about it. All right. Same thing with this. I went in ahead. I went ahead and assigned a, a front projection, and yeah, front projection. Set it to four, and then I unfold it vertically, and see it also takes up half of the sheet. So eventually, though, you start getting the point as to why everything has to be four meters, because if something's four meters, it will fit nicely in the sheet. So, for example, this guy. Initially, I built it at two meters and I ended up having a lot of space left and I can easily make this a uh, four meter stall because I plan to use it vertically anyways. And so when I unfold it vertically, see, you see that it fits nicely in the grid.